Tony Quad Copter 101 here, and what I got for you today should be a really, really neat review. This is the new MJX RC 102H altitude hold camera quad copter, uh, GoPro lifter. It's designed to lift the GoPro. It has a mount for GoPro style cameras. Unfortunately, the ca all the cameras I got are either SJ cams or Run cams or Mobius. Uh, SJ cams are a little bit bigger than uh, a GoPro, so uh, my SJ cams wouldn't fit in here. So what I've done instead is put a Run cam into the mount for the GoPro. Um, other things about this quadcopter, again, it has altitude hold and it has downward pusher props to lift the quadcopter, uh, hopefully to smooth out the uh, flow to the, the reduces vibrations to the camera. We'll see if that actually works. <laughs> uh, looking at the quadcopter, the mount itself is very jiggly. Nice jiggly mount. Uh, hopefully that'll reduce vibrations too going to the camera, but we'll find out. Um, uh, the battery that comes with this is, I believe it's a 1200 milliamp per hour. Hold on. 7.4 volt. Uh, let me lower my glasses so I can read this. <laughs> 7.4 volt, 1200 milliamp per hour. I was right. Um, 2S battery that goes in into the uh, battery mount or the camera mount itself. And I think the idea is they want to put the mass of the battery in here to help also help reduce vibrations, hoping that the mass of the battery will absorb some of these vibrations. It comes in a very nice color, candy apple red. I like it. Uh, one thing I've included, I've added to it is I put a little Velcro tab on here and I'll show you what that's for a little bit later here. Something out, neat that I'm going to try out with this particular quadcopter. Since this quadcopter should have a heck of a lot of lift, lifting power. And since I'm not lifting a GoPro, I can, uh, you know, just a lightweight run cam. I could probably add more things to it. And I am going to add something to it. And I'll go into that here shortly. Let's go over the transmitter and its capabilities and what it's supposed to do with this quadcopter. Uh, this is the left button here. And the upper, there's two shoulder buttons on each side and this first white one here is for turning off the lights with a short press or entering headless mode with a long press and once you're in headless mode you press it again you can do a one key return um, this button here the red button is for entering into idle since this is a uh, altitude hold quadcopter with centered throttle you press it uh, a quick press will enter into idle and start the motors up. And another quick press will have it do an automatic takeoff. And another quick press will have it do an automatic landing. You can also use this button to change modes of this transmitter from modes 1, 2, 3, and 4. All four modes. And to do that, you just hold down the button uh, for 2 to 3 seconds and it will switch modes on the transmitter. Uh, the what would normally be the throttle trim button is for taking videos if you push down take a video push up take a photo and This upper right trigger button here is for changing the rates from uh, from beginner to expert mode I don't think there's any intermediate on this and this one button here is currently doesn't list anything Assigned to it. I might press it while we're flying to see if it does anything to the quadcopter um, None of them are listed as doing flips um, there is no flip ability, and again, keep in mind this is a camera bird, and flip ability, uh, uh, doing flips with this large quadcopter might not be a good idea because that tends to burn out these large brush quadcopters when you do flips, and you don't burn out motors, and you don't want to do that with this particular quadcopter because looking at it, replacing the motors don't look like it's going to be an easy job. You're going to need to take off the whole top shell, and to do that, you've got to remove all these screws to take off the top shell to access the motors in there. There's there's no simple opening to pull out the motors to replace them. So, hope you enjoy this flight. Let's go for a flight of the 101H and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Let's hold it one more time for a thumbnail. <laughs> okay, let's go do it. I mentioned that I was going to add something special to it, and this is what it is. This is a little EF, uh, Ishin EF-01 FPV 5.8 gigahertz FPV camera and it's actually a really cool little thing I'm going to do a separate review on this later but again it's a little micro FPV camera that you can more or less add to just about anything slap it on with a piece of velcro and away you go um, all you need is a power supply in my case I applied it to via velcro to this um, little micro quadcopter battery 3.7 volt battery um, it runs on uh, 3 to 5 volts um, you don't want to go any higher than 5 volts input into this thing or you'll burn it out but we're going to use that and we're going to slap this onto the quadcopter with velcro right there so we'll also have fpv view as we're flying so hope you enjoy this flight 
Okay, I got this little <laughs> EF01 there, Velcroed onto the back there. We're going to get FPV also video. And I got that recording. I got all, everything recording. Turning on the on off switch on the quadcopter. Lights are blinking. Turning on the transmitter. And I'm going to bind it. I think that's a bind. Let's see if we'll enter into idle by pressing that button. Turning off idle. Hold on. I can't turn off the motors, folks. Hold on. You got me. I guess we're not going to fly this today. Yeah. Yeah, these uh, prop guards. <laughs> well, you saw it, folks. Do not put on those goofy prop guards. Um, they do not protect the propellers. They actually bounce into it. Um, maybe I got them upside down. Maybe they're supposed to be the other way around. But I am going to remove these and uh, fly this at another time without these prop guards on here. Sorry about that. Okay, I removed those goofy prop guards. I hate prop guards. <laughs> I will never install them again. Okay, um, let's turn on the transmitter. Or actually, turn on the quadcopter. Okay, all the camera's recording. But we'll turn on the quadcopter's on-off switch to on. It has an on-off switch. And turning on the transmitter. Binding it to the quadcopter. Setting my four-minute timer. To remind me to come back and hitting the or takeoff button or the, actually this is the idle button and one more time to hit the takeoff and give it a little altitude hello there I'm giving it more throttle to take it up higher but it doesn't seem to want to go up any higher Oh, maybe I am in mode three. That's the goofy thing about this. Mode two. Okay, now I am in mode two. <laughs> Going to higher rate. Double check before you take off to see what mode you are in. But right now I'm in mode two. I was in mode three there for a bit. Okay, let's take it up higher. Its throttle is very slow and sluggish. I'll tell you right now, I'm giving it 35% throttle and it's climbing slowly. Let's fly it around the area. Very sluggish throttle control for climbing. Let's take it up a little higher. I'm giving it more throttle. But it's just climbing real slowly. It is holding its altitude though. You know one thing I haven't checked? What about flyaways? Let's bring it down. And see what happens when we lose the transmitter. Reducing throttle. And bringing it in closer. This is very sluggish controls. I guess, you know, it's meant to be a camera bird, but uh, I'd be concerned about flying this in the wind. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put it on the ground, and then I'm going to turn off the transmitter to see what the quadcopter does. Give it a little throttle, and then turning off the transmitter. 
thousand two, thousand three. Okay, it will descend. How about it will rebind? Okay, we do get rebind, so I'm not worried about flyaways. I was just a little concerned there. Okay, how about headless mode? Uh, gotta hold this button down here for two seconds. Should be in headless mode now. Pushing forward, pulling back, left, right. So headless mode's working. Let's go out this way and try that one key return. And there's one key return. You gotta be in headless mode first before activating one key return. Let's go back out again and press one key return. And there's one key return. Again, right, remember, if you're in headless mode and you're to the right of the direction you point it and you press one key return, this is what it's going to do. See, it goes parallel to you. You have to be down the direction it was the quadcopter was pointed when you took off, and I am in this instance here. Let's push it to the, let's push it out a little further and hit point it toward camera toward me, one key return. And there we go. Okay, let's come out of headless mode. Now we're we are still in headless mode. <laughs> Oh, that's a takeoff land button I'm pressing. Let's come out of headless mode. Okay. I think we are. Left, right, forward. Okay, going back to headless mode. <laughs> the reason being, I don't know which way's front or back right now. Let's press land. Landing. I was supposedly out of headless mode, but the quadcopter wasn't going forward when I was pushing forward. And I am back in mode one again. That's the dang thing about uh, this particular button here. <laughs> Switching between mode one, two, three, and four. You ac you'll always accidentally enter into mode, a different mode, by holding this uh, second button down. Remember, the red button, quick presses only for takeoff and landing, or otherwise you will get confused. I'm back in mode two again. And let's do one more takeoff. Going back to idle. Taking off. And one quick flight around the area. Where am I in? I'm in mode two. But I think I'm in headless mode. <laughs> now I was in headless mode there. I was confused again. <laughs> Yeah, these, you got to get used to these uh, shoulder buttons here because they will confuse you. Uh, it confused me big time, uh, this particular quadcopter. Because uh, switch it between mode one and two and headless mode, and you will surely make a mistake like I did there. Um, we still got plenty of uh, flight time. The battery or the lights are still going. So let's go up high real quick. I didn't do a high flight yet. We'll go up high over the area. Maybe take it up to about 50, 80 meters, something like that. Right about there should be fine. And fly over the area. And we'll do a rotate to show the camera in rotation. Yeah. Wind's blowing it. There's some wind up there. With that in mind, we'll go up this way. We'll go upwind and do that rotation. Right about there. And then rotate. And rotating overhead. And then 
coming back down again. Reducing throttle. And finally, uh, let's look at its ability to maintain altitude. Coming down, reducing throttle. It's slow. Oh, land. <laughs> land. I'm going to go over and make sure that those motors are. Oh, yeah, they're it's upside down. <laughs> I guess that was the end of the battery is what that was. That's what it does on battery depletion. So all in all, you know, it flies. It flies well. Um, it's a little bit sluggish on throttle inputs. Let me turn off the motors too. Landed on my new little camera. Let me turn that camera off too. Um, but I'm concerned about the ability to turn off these motors quickly. Um, well, they're not hot, so I guess they're not overheating. But uh, uh, in a crash, you got to be able to shut those motors down quickly. And I, I don't know if this is capable of doing such. Um, to, when I hit that landing, as soon as it gets close to the ground, folks, um, I recommend pressing that landing button quickly to, to make it land and turn off its motors automatically like it did there. If I would have forgot to do that, and tried to turn off the motors by pushing down on the throttle, I'm afraid it wouldn't have shut down as quickly. Um, other things about this quadcopter, they're putting too many functions into these buttons to do uh, too many things at once, like uh, lights and headless mode and one key return all in that one button there. And doing such, I accidentally kept headless mode on there for part of the flight there and confuse the heck out of myself and also this one idle takeoff and landing and also including that with mode one two three and four um i was i repeatedly got into the wrong mode thinking i was switching from you know takeoff to landing and idle um i was actually entering into mode three mode four <laughs> so this mode switch should possibly be moved over to this vacant slot that you got over here jg or mjx rc have I been calling this JJRC? <laughs> I hope not. Uh, and other than that, um, it is not very maneuverable. I, I'd be concerned about it in, in any wind. Um, it didn't have much pitch, forward pitch to it. But we'll see how the video came out too, whether that uh, uh, video was stable with this uh, particular camera gimbal. So that is the MJX RC 102H, 102H. I'm sorry if I called it something else. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.